back to the Shelby lifestyle. So right now I'm sort of pulled off next to a street and also the freeway way over there. It's uh, pretty unconventional, but I just saw it not a pullover because it just looks so cool, quite honestly. But we have so much Mustang news to talk about today, guys, and I honestly am just so freaking excited about everything. We don't just have Mustang news, we also have news from Chevrolet. Yes, guys, a mid-engine Corvette. Quite honestly, guys, we, we knew, we already knew about the mid-engine Corvette, all of us did, but uh, this is the first time Chevrolet has really given us an official statement regarding it when we will see the car. Guys, it has finally happened. I have come across a few interesting photos on Instagram. Now these photos were taken by an individual by the name of The Mike Dean. And what's interesting about these two photos, guys, is that it shows the 2020 Ford Mustang in the lime green color, but also in the twister orange. These are taken by someone who works with Ford and at an airstrip, so that probably means Ford has rented out the airstrip for the day to film something. As you guys can see through this photo right here, they have an entire camera rig next to the passenger seat. So I'm not too sure what they're doing, what, what's all going on, but I'm pretty sure that we can expect something interesting, some new video to come out pretty soon. Now, a few people have pointed out that if you look directly in the middle of the car through the rear window, you can actually see a stick right where the rotary automatic transmission dial would be. Pay attention to the angle of this photo. Both these photos have the same exact angle. It's really hard to tell whether this is a GT500 or a normal Mustang because the angle of how these photos are taken don't exactly show any highlights from each vehicle, but the interior does not show any white accents. Now, if the GT500 only has a white style interior, then this can't be it. This has to be a 2020 Mustang wearing these new colors. I really do hope that Ford doesn't stick with just white because, well, let's say that you want a blacked out GT500, that sinister look. Now, when you roll down the windows or open the door, they're gonna see white pinstriping all over the place on the interior. Some people are not going to like that. So hopefully Ford does allow for similar options that you see in this car, the subtle red trim on the sides of the Recaros. I think this looks perfect to me. It just, it's not too extreme, it's not too gaudy. It really does come together very nicely. You know what guys, please let me know in the comment section down below what you think regarding the interior colors as well as what you think of these photos. Now could these be normal 2020 Mustangs? Could this be the first sighting of a manual 2020 GT500? I sure do hope Ford does offer a manual because more and more cars are killing off the manuals. For example, the Supra has no manual, the new BMW Z4, even the new C8 Corvette is set and destined to have no manual transmission. Actually, the new mid-engine Corvette's going to have a dual clutch, the same dual clutch from, I believe, Tremec. Now, I have been hearing lots of talk regarding a new Mustang, a new entry-level high-performance model. I'm not too sure if you guys have too, but uh, if you're familiar with the Mustang SVO from the 1980s, mid-1980s, it was a 2.3-liter, four-cylinder, turbocharged Mustang. It was completely different than your normal Mustang V8 counterpart, and it did set a new standard of Mustang performance back in the day, because it was so different. And I believe just around the corner, guys, is going to be a revival of that very car. Actually, looking at the competitors of the Mustang, for example, the Camaro, you have the four-cylinder option and the six-cylinder option. The Mustang EcoBoost is actually beating the four-cylinder that you find in the Camaro horsepower-wise, but it is still like 20 horsepower behind of the V6. And also, there's a huge price gap in between the Mustang EcoBoost and also the Mustang V8. It's like a $10,000 price gap. And in between these two price points would be a great target for Ford. So I think the Camaro does have the Mustang B option-wise for the engines. If the Ford Focus RS was able to make 350 horsepower with the 2.3 liter EcoBoost, I believe that there certainly is room for Ford to improve the performance of the EcoBoost motor that you find in the Mustang. And honestly, it would be pretty exciting seeing a track-worthy competitor of, for example, the V6 1LE that Camaro has. And actually, you know what, guys? The Ford GT did get its EcoBoost from the Raptor. Now, if they could pull that EcoBoost from the Raptor, put it into a Ford GT, 
why not do the same for the Mustang? That would instantly give noticeable gains. Please let me know in the comment section down below, guys, what you think. Do you think that all this talk is in fact true? They, they will be releasing a new EcoBoost high performance entry level model in New York at the New York Auto Show. As for the time being, guys, we're just going to have to continue waiting for Ford to finish developing this new Shelby GT500. It's really taken them such a long time to make this car. And comparing what they've done so far with Chevrolet, Chevrolet has managed to completely design the next generation of the Corvette, that being the mid-engine C8 Corvette. I can't believe this is happening, guys. The new Corvette is just going to be so different than what we're all used to. With that in mind, we also heard that Ford has postponed the S650 Mustang, the next generation Mustang, until around 2026 to 2028. Also, the word is the next generation Mustang will use the CD6 platform, which is essentially shared with not just the Mustang, but also the Explorer. Ford really needs to step up their game right now because the competition is going to be so tough. And if Ford takes too long to announce all the specs of the new GT500, they could risk being completely overshadowed by this new mid-engine Corvette. Given that this new Corvette will actually be unveiled in July and be on sale later this year, do you think this will have any effect on the sales of the GT500? Just thinking about it right now, which car do you think will have a bigger ADM, the new mid-engine C8 Corvette or the 2020 GT500? Oh man, it's going to be crazy. Man, guys, I almost obliterated the front end of the GT350. I don't know how I how I dodged that, but um, I was driving normal speeds on the street, and on the other side of the intersection, there was a massive just dip like this, just street dip and back up a hill. Oh man, if I if I would have just kept throttle and not brake the guys that would have just destroyed the entire front of the car because the splitter is just so low guys you really have to watch out when you own a gt 350r or any extremely low car honestly because if you're not paying attention something bad can happen so quickly so quickly it's not just that the car sits so low to the ground the front splitter on the gt 350r literally extends out I can't even count how many times someone gives me a honk or a thumbs up or says, nice Shelby. Just now, a few minutes ago, it wasn't recording, but uh, someone drove by me and said, nice Roush. So it's always so fun seeing all you guys' expressions to this car. As soon as I wake up and I decide, you know what? Let's take out the Shelby R. I, I completely get in the most exciting mood possible because it's literally driving a race car on the street, which is why I am just so excited to finally be able to experience what this new GT500 is going to be all about. If it's this car, this car, but taken to the next level, it is going to throw down some pretty crazy fast lap times, guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to comment down below what you think. Also, subscribe for much more of the Shelby lifestyle. This is what we do here on the channel. And also, hit that like button. It really does help me out. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Hey, guys. Have you seen my website? That is phenomautos.com. Check it out, and you'll find all of the latest merchandise that you saw in this video. All of the proceeds help to support the channel. So thank you again guys for all of your incredible support and please stay tuned because we have a lot of crazy content just around the corner.